Hey YouTube, welcome to Market Watch, your bi-weekly segment where we talk about the Digimon card game market. EX3 is so close, we can practically taste it, and we gotta talk about some meta developments and some other random things you should probably know about the market. If you guys enjoy this content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn that notification on the Smash Potatoes, that way you know when all these amazing Digimon videos go live. The my market hasn't really changed since Monday, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it, if you want to look at something cool, look at how some of these Omnimon variants are just way higher than other ones from BT5. That's kind of cool, but besides that, yeah, nothing really going on here. Moving right along to Metal Greymon. The super rare that seems to be uh, dipping a little bit at 925. I do think that this card will drop a little bit more. Uh, and then depending on how Blue Flare does in EX3, if big Ultimate Cups and tournaments are happening... And Blue Flare does not perform, this card will drop back down in price. Um, if you're a Blue Flare believer, go for it. If you're not, don't. <laughs> Just don't. Sell them. Sell them. Uh, Devimon from the Online Champion Pack. I haven't covered this card in a long time, but it is a blocker. A purple blocker. So you can play in things like Minervamon, for instance. And it's $300. There's no reason to buy this card. So, uh, yeah, don't buy it. Don't do it. Uh, DC1 Grand Prix. To the best of my knowledge, is over now. It is over, and people are going to start to get their stuff in the mail, from what I understand. If there's another Grand Prix of these cards, correct me. I don't think there is. I could be wrong. But people will get their prizing in the mail real soon, and when that happens, these cards will drop in price a little more. So 69 is nice for Growlmon, and War Growl is 200. But these might go down a little bit more. They just might go down a little bit more. So do uh, be advised if you want to have Max Roy to Gallimon with these cards. They they still have some room to fall. They do. Death Axmon. Don't be fooled by this $80 listing of Light Play. It is practically a $90 card now. Practically. Just, just it's $89 up here. So close to $90. A lot of resistance up here just before the $90 mark. This card is a staple. And we gotta see, wait to see how it plays out in the X3 format before we know where the price price will truly settle on it. Uh, hopefully, you have your death access by now. Digital hazard. I like talking about sealed products sometimes because it's important to evaluate whether or not you should consider buying boxes to open them for singles if you're looking to make return on investment and all that fun stuff. So you can buy a box for seventy dollars. Okay, let's look at digital hazard. We know that in these EX sets, you get Either two alt arts and a secret, or you get three alt arts. If we look at the top, if we look at the top end here, right? There are some cards that will reward you. Like if you pull either base or a secret, you're doing okay. Battle out last one a little bit more, but you know both are okay. You can pull a top end alt art here. I'd say anything up until Gallimon Crimson mode here is definitely good. Like twenty, like look at these prices; they're pretty good. Uh, after that, it gets kind of, kind of, kind of slow. Uh, as an aside, grab your Altar Gilmons now. Just, just saying, just saying. But besides that, let's look at the super rares here. You can pull Sequiamon, which would be good. We'll talk about Sequiamon in a minute. Um, that's it. Yep. The next most expensive super rare is fucking two dollars. So. Uh, if you think that you can do the alt art lottery with these boxes, if you think that you can do it, you should definitely try. I can confirm that these boxes now are very, 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 very hard to find from distributors. So take that information as you will. All right. Sequoia main mode seems to be sitting here at $48, $47. It seems to have rebounded downwards from its high price point. And I would think there's enough listings here to kind of supplement it for a while. I don't know how excited people are going to be with Sequimon main mode because Sequimon isn't really on anyone's radar in EX3. And Yellow Hybrid now isn't on many people's radar as much as it was. Also, security control, yeah, you know, maybe. Um, I, I think 48 is like a reasonable price. It sure might go down from there, but... If it goes down, it's not going down by much anymore, I'll tell you that. So, maybe if you want them, maybe now it's time. Who knows? Uh, Commandramon. This is just your reminder that D-Brigade support's coming out in a week. 
You know, if D Brigade sees play, then, then this card will go back up in price. This card was seeing ridiculous price points. And it, it, it's five copies away from being 60 again. If you want to make a quick flip, you buy these, you sell them. There you go. Prob nice money. Quick money. Uh, next up here is Magna Andromon, who's back up in price. It had a low. Do you guys remember the low here? And now it's just, it's climbed back. It's climbed back. It is seeing a little more play in EX3. People are hyping it up a little bit. Um, we are all, we, people realize that we are a little bit far away from the little, the anniversary box or whatever the fuck that is. So, now you don't buy it. Now you don't touch it. You bought it when it was 30, that was the way to do it. If you didn't, it's unfortunate. Jespon GX is the next card, and this seems to be its new price point. And there's enough here to make cause resistance. It's possible that it cools off a little bit, but, uh, I don't know. I don't know. This is a weird card to kind of price because it is secret rare from a set that's being opened a lot uh, and is seeing play in strategies. What's something that's very interesting, and we'll talk about this with another card, I think, later on. BT13, and we're, we're a little bit in the future here, but uh, BT13, supposedly uh, the art was revealed or something that shows it's a Royal Knight based set. And this guy can just evolve on any level six Royal Knight. I, I don't I don't wanna like cause anybody to freak out, but we have more Royal Knight support coming. We do. And uh Jessmon GX looks like a very natural top end for that whole thing now. So uh you just take that information with you will I just 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 you know just be careful with that card. Uh, Magnumon X is uh, is at forty dollars. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I I wouldn't touch this card right now. I wouldn't. Uh, Dark Nightmon also kind of at a higher price point at thirty bucks. It had some low listings, but all of a sudden, it tops a DC Grand Prix in Europe, and everyone's back on the hype train. I'm gonna be honest. I don't like this deck. I think it gets worse if the Shotmon Cross deck gets hit. That's what I think. Uh, I'm not a big fan. But, you know, apparently the market is against that. So, don't buy Dark Knight Mons for 30 bucks. Don't do it. That's a little bit too high. Machine Dramon, we knew this was happening. The support is incoming. It, it is. It, it, it's coming. Very, very soon. Hope you got them when they're 15. Hero is 20 bucks. What happened here? Uh, and it's not even that much resistance before page two. Like it's twelve copies on thirteen copies on TCG Player before it becomes ridiculous. That's not a lot of copies, guys. Uh, and this card will always see play as long as Gamamon gets support. So, uh, yeah, whatever. You know, you know what I think about this card. I think these tournament pack cards have a high ceiling with the prices potentially. All right. Store Championship cards are more available in the market. Store Championship Cordramons. I'm, I'm, I've said this before, I'm going to say it again. This is a steal. $17.50 for a max rarity Cordramon is a steal. EX3 is around the corner. And Examon is coming. Get these cards now. Buy these cards now. J j grab them. Don't, don't wait. Don't hesitate. You don't have to settle for the stupid participant version or the DC or the uh, the Fest stamp card. No. You can get the actual max variety of this card for $17.50 right now. Or even $18. That's a very good price for this card. Uh, I had a buyout. It recovered. It'll have a buyout again real soon. There's only four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine copies before it's 26 bucks. And then we're back to where we were. So just take that information very, very sparingly. You play three to four Cordramons on Examon, and Examon will be a top tier threat in this side of the world. I believe it. All right, next up, we have Madoki Betamon at the $15 mark. It hasn't really moved too much. Uh, it seems to be stable at 15 bucks. It seems like a good buy. Fly Bullet, though keeps going down super super interesting 
I'm going to be real. I did not expect a drop to this price. Now, it's definitely not worth it to open premium decks. Just buy your singles. Do it up. It's a good time to do it. You might even fall more. But don't forget, this card will be expensive again one day. Just wait for it. Uh, Jamming Vmon is almost 15 bucks. It's gone up a little bit. Uh, I'd wait for it to cool off. There's a little bit of hype going on right now. I would wait for it to calm down a little bit. Kalumon Altart is an EX2 card. I I think I've said this before, so I'm bringing it up again. It's not a bad card to have. It's good if Gilmon, Terramon, Renamon, or Ritmon get support that this card directly benefits. And uh, that's all. It could be $20, 20 bucks at some point, or even more than that. So Kuyamon from EX2 here is still kind of expensive, but there are more quantities on the market. It's a $10 card now with a little bit of quantity to suggest its price point. I think this card will go down. I think you should wait for it to go down. Next up is Metal Guru Mon X Antibody Alt Art. 12 bucks. The stack is still good. The law listings, I'm not expecting this card to go to like 20 bucks overnight or anything like that. But keep your eyeball on it. It's a good time to get a max ready for this card. It really is. This Agumon promo, as well as three others, are getting reprinted really, really soon in some EX3 special holiday thing. I expect the prices to go down. So don't buy this card. Or the Wergarumon. Or the Diabormon. Or the other card. I can't remember what it is right now. Kotemon. From the Tamer Party Volume 5 promo. We were talking about Royal Knights earlier. I'm just saying, this card could be a really cheap stock if Lord Nightmon becomes good again. Could be a quick flip. Just letting you know. Uh, Tai Kamiya Kari had the buyout that we called. 20 bucks. Hope you got your copies of it. Next bunch of promotion pack. This is the pack of cards that costs $18. That comes with the memory boosts. Where, uh, fun fact, none of them are more than $18. If they are worth more than $18, it's like a dollar or two more. Also, these packs are see-through. You can take your phone flashlight in a dark room and see what's inside the pack. Do not buy these packs. You could potentially be throwing your money away. Yep, don't do it. Uh, Dibermon token. There's not a lot left. So I'm bringing this up now. It's not too much resistance before it becomes a $15 card. And if Dibermon support gets announced soon... This card's going up in price, just so you know. And Patamon here from the store championship is low compared to the floral one, but 12 bucks, 13, 14, 15, 15 and a half, 16. There is not a lot of resistance on this card. There really isn't a lot of resistance. This card could have 20 bucks any time now in my opinion. And that's it for this week's this bi-weekly market watch. Yeah, sounds good, right? Let me know what you think in the comment section below, and we'll see you later. Bye.